Hey. Wait a second, this doesn't look like World 2. Welcome back to World 1, because I missed some things and some people pointed some things out. So we're back here in 1-2 to show some things off that maybe we skipped over. Well, I thought that you skipped it over because you uh, wanted to show mm. it off, the portal, and like, what you're going to show off, because that's, that's partly, showing it off. That's partly, yes. That is partly true. Anyway, in this room that Vile pointed out in the first recording, it's like, go oh, in that room, there's these little, there's this, this one Koopa Trooper and some, some coin blocks, that's Skyrit. Dex, you're supposed to jump on him and then throw the shell, and it's supposed to make a whole bunch of shinies, you, now, you fuck. See, the thing is, I did that, and the shell refused to hit all four of the blocks, so I said, fuck it, I will just, I will just hit them myself. Okay. Because turtles are shit, and they don't want to fucking do it. Anyway. They're not turtles, they're Koopas. Come on, man. Ever. Anyway, you can pick up shells and go inside of them. Isn't that Holy great? Holy shit, where did you go? I went inside Wait, the shell. Wait, what? You can... How do you go inside the shells? <laughs> you hold the shell, and then you press one of the triggers, and then you can ride inside of it. What? You can ride inside of any shell. Did you not, did you not know? What? Did you not know? <laughs> you can do that with any shell. What? Also, really bad at jumping in the pipe. I'm sorry. Anyway, this, excuse, ex this hidden excuse. red pipe is a secret exit. Secret exits uh, seem to be some kind of returning thing from Super Mario World, maybe? I don't know. I think there have maybe yeah. been secret exits in, in past Mario games, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, someone in the thread was like, hey, what's that door back there? Or maybe it was in the comments. Like, what's in that, that little door back there? And it's just, it's just a third house. See, that, that You're it, expecting a small prize, but you've got big prizes. That doesn't prizes. make any sense. Fucking it's hell. randomized. It's a game of chance, you fuck. Fucking hell, Toad. You piece of shit. Dex, Dex, look. Yeah. Don't blame Toad for your misgivings. Well, look, it's it's well two one. Conquer Canyon. Yes. So yes, second world. Uh, first world is kind of like an introductory stage, of course, is the first world. Uh, the first world really just kind of lays out the the ground uh, the ground rules, the the floor plans, and goes like, okay, so here's the deal. This is what's going down. And then the second world doesn't doesn't really increase the difficulty all that much, but just in, in, uh, introduces a couple more new ideas. Also, this is the secret room. <coughs> Like a room in 2 1. It's so all shiny. These all these coins. Uh, World 2 1 introduces just a few new ideas for you to, you know, to kind of gestate on, think about. And uh, it just inc increases the difficulty ever so slightly, but not that much. Um, by World 3, the difficulty is up a little bit more, but not too much. There is a point, though, where the difficulty does ramp up significantly. Where, whereabouts would you say that was? I want to say you can bet by World Two we're not gonna desert this game. Oh, get it's begun. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Stop your recording. Stop the whole thing. I'm deleting the thread. It's all it's over. It's over. I ruined That's it. it. I'm closing the channel. It's done. 669 uh, subscribers. 696. Six, I mean, six, fuck six, every time. 696. Come on, get right. Hey, where the star appears, and I run off, and I go, wait, hold on, oops. <laughs> You're like, oh, wait. <laughs> and he's actually got the star. Um, yeah, whereabouts would you say the game picks up in difficulty? Uh, world five. I'd say world, world six. I'd say yeah, actually. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> fucking. <laughs> All right, Dex. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just I'm just treating Toad how anyone else would treat Toad. How he deserves to be treated. I would say actually no. The where it starts to get a little harder is the world that we have no idea what the fucking theming is. Oh, yes. <laughs> meow. Did you know in Japan Meow is pronounced nya? I didn't. I did, I did not. Did you know that in Japan, woof is pronounced wan? Whoa, what? Whoa. Yeah, did you know? Whoa. Wow. Maybe some, maybe dogs 
just when to play this game. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> um, Nintendo Network features. <laughs> you, there are some Miiverse things in this game. <laughs> that you can use the stamps on Miiverse posts that you've collected. <laughs> and there are also ghost to me characters that are kind of like racing yourself in Super Mario, in like Mario Kart. Uh, but you're racing other people, so you like beat them to get the whew, to get the best time for the level, or beat your own time. So obviously, we're going to enable those because they're hilarious. Yep. Smash your Nico. Yeah, thank, that's a long time fan of Ian DLP. Smash your Nico. Thanks for sending your picture in. <laughs> uh, <Fuck>. there. <laughs> Also, in some of the worlds, there are stamp houses. Some of the stamps are super easy to get because they're just inside these little stamp houses. Although, I think at some point, the stamp house is a little bit hidden, maybe? I don't know. What is with you and jumping on people's head stacks? I just enjoy it. I just enjoy jumping on their heads and letting go of all the buttons and just... I just don't know. sitting I just back and crossing your some arms. Some kind going, of yes. sick pleasure out of it. Yeah. Talking about sick pleasure. Shadow Play Alley. I love this level. It's this is a really fucking good level. One of many, one of many very, very, very good levels there are in this game. Oh, check it out! I didn't know you could do this. Wait, you didn't know you could pick up the Prana Plant? No. Really? What the fuck? Dude, you're learning all kinds of shit. This is great. Also, this is kind of it's kind of sick because it's cannibalism. <laughs> it's the Mario verse. What are we yeah, talking about? Yeah. Cannibalism is like pretty much commonplace. It just ate that fireball. Yep. He, it he, don't give a fuck. He eats fireballs, he eats everything. It's kind of great. So, you know, after our first video, we were very positive about the game. Very enthusiastic because we both really like this game a lot. Um, so I, I did, I had a little sit down since the last video and I, I did some thinking and I was like, what's. We, we gotta talk about negative points about the game because, you know, it's not. It's not a fair look at the game if we don't think of some negative points. So I come up with a negative point. Okay. Are you, okay. Are you ready? Yes. My negative point about the game... It ends. <laughs> okay. It's not. It's really good. Very, very creative level design. Very... Lots of different ideas. But it's not... It doesn't go on for infinity. 5 out of 10, IGN. Okay, listen here, you little shit. <clears throat> also, those little, uh, like... I don't know what the hell they are, like, purple blocks with eyes? I don't know what the hell to even call them. You can get rid of all of them at once by just blowing into the microphone. What? Yep. I didn't even know that. Damn it! Yeah. See this? That toad's so stupid, he, think, he can see that that Bowser thing's down there, but he thinks the shadow is real, so... You kill it and then he gives you a green star and you're like, you're a fucking idiot, Toad. Did you know that in some, uh, some indigenous societies and cultures that they see shadows and think they're real? I didn't know that. Also, yes. I came up here and went, where does this door go? Oh. Okay then. <laughs> I guess that's cool too. Alright. That's fine. Oh, yeah! I like how it's the one green area in the entire desert. Yeah. That was one thing I did think of was that sometimes there is a lot of levels that kind of aren't congruent with the theme, overall theme of the world. <clears throat> Tom is rubbish at Mario game. Make sure to read those Miiverse posts, guys, because they're really fucking funny. <laughs> Out of context, they're hilarious. There are some very good ones. Video games are just good. Video, video games are amazing. Anyway. Meverse is just incredible. I love Meverse. So, these Bowser statues, you can get rid of them by collecting enough green stars. So here's a little yeah. bit of a, a gimmicky level, World 2-2. Two -two. Uh, it introduces having to actually touch on the Wii U pad in order to make progress through the level. And you might say that kind of sounds like it would be a bit awkward having to like control the character and also touch the screen and my answer would be yeah 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 it kind of is 
kind of is a little bit awkward. It requires a, a level of dexterity that I'm not sure I have. It's okay, Dex, you're a master of that. Your name is Dex, mm. after all. Also, showing off, you can touch the enemies on, on with the Wii U pad and you can, like, freeze them. And it's great. I really like this bit. Even though it's a little bit awkward, I do like the idea of touching on stuff to, like, make progress. Also, there's a... There's a... There's these little lifts blow into the microphone, and they... And it activates them, and it's cool. Now, I know you can play this game on, uh, like, with a normal controller. Yeah. Do you know what happens when you do that with these levels? Um, I don't think you can play it on your own. I don't think you can play it on your own with the Pro Controller. I think that's actually impossible. I've, I swear I've done it before. Really? I got, I played it with the Pro Controller. On your own? Yeah, and... Hmm. Huh, I'm gonna have to go back and see In what happens. Case, I'm, I'm not sure, because I would kind of think that would be impossible. Maybe they just run on their own or something? Um, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. We will find out. We will... Actually, you know, we can find out at the at the end of the video, we will, we will say what happens. Yes. Because I will do a little research. Fire Toad looks kinda cool. Fire Toad looks all the cools. I don't know yeah. what the fuck you talking about, buddy. Very, very sneaky hidden green star right there, and right here I'm like I couldn't jump. Wait, no, I can't. Toad just got you got you got to jump high enough. No, it can't be true. You can't, you can't fly, not even if you wanted to. Like a bird and in the sky. I made, I made, <laughs> Good job. I made a mistake, and then I also stopped stick the landing. Whoop! Uh oh, never mind. Whoops! You went through the entire level just to get a better score? Yeah. Okay. Not that great Not one. great on that one. Hi, what's everyone Hi, up what's to, everyone up? <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? What's Priest. everyone up to, lol? What's in the... Oh hey, there's a toad house there's, hidden underground. There's a toad house. Toad, what if... prepare to meet your brother, Toad. <laughs> It'd be great if, like... Fucking... are you serious? <laughs> Never do that to me again, you motherfucker. I, I, I have no words. <laughs> What what I was gonna say was it would be great if you walked in and immediately it was just like <laughs> you walk in and immediately it's just like it's like a family and they're dinner like sitting down at a dinner table and they just like all gasp and look at you goes you've been missing twenty three years. Here's the way to get all seven one ups in one go. You just hit the blocks and sound the music. That's the trick. You just hit the blocks and sound the music. Spin in the cash. You deserve it. Yeah. Also, the way to perform that spin move, you just spin the control stick around really fast and you just do a spin, you can jump, and it's great. Alright, let's check out the really roll. They're not just any normal rolling hills. They're, They're seriously really rolling. really rolling. Also, we need to play as Mario for this level. You need to play as Mario. You must play as Mario for this level if you want to oh. collect all the things. Oh god damn it. What? This level. What's wrong with this level? <sighs> and that's why you need Mario. Because there are oh, okay. specific character switches that you need. So what's up with this level? What's up? Uh, I will tell you after the recording because it's a major spoiler. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. So with this level, I uh, I may have forgotten that I was recording and just kind of was like, "Hooray! I love this! I love this game!" I just sort of ran around, just enjoying the game. I keep seriously, I play this game, but I forget I'm recording. Like there's a, I think there's a point where you physically see me go like, "Oh yeah." 
Look at these baseballs that just come out of nowhere. Why are baseballs yeah. in this game? Who even knows? Who even, Who even cares? cares? That's great. <laughs> oh. oh my god! I could just feel the childish glee through the fucking game. <laughs> yeah, red coins, let's get those. Why not? Why not? Red coins, if you collect them all, if you go through the ring and get them all, then they give you a power up. Look at all these fucking Goombas. There's tiny oh, little Goombas, I... you can blow them away by blowing the microphone. I do like how there's a bunch of different Goomba types. You've got the regular ones, the cat ones, and also the ones from Super Mario World, which are called Galoombas. Look, they really like glue, okay? Galoombas. And this right here is like, oh yeah, I need to play a game. <laughs> right, right, let's play, right. I hate those spiky guys. They foil so many of my good jumps. Alright, so we got these little rooms, and you can just like run around and press all the buttons yourself, but you can also just touch on the screen. I did not know that. And you can, yeah, and you can also uh, throw the, the baseballs around a bunch too. Alternatively, you can just kind of like, you know, make the Goombas notice you and uh, they, they, they press most of the buttons too. Mm -hmm. When you press all the buttons, by the way, it plays uh, the Mario theme. Yeah, it's like a weird remix version. It's kind of cool. I just, like, a part of me died when you did that because I what? forgot there was a green star down there. Really? So I saw you do like the ground pound and which one. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? You don't trust me. You don't trust me at all. Yeah! Yeah! So have we mentioned how great this game is? Have we, have we <laughs> done that? Have we done that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's time to mention that this game is really fucking good. Um, this game is too good to handle, dude. Yeah. Marcus plus Marcus equal idiot. Get lost, Marcus. <laughs> Just a wow. movie space with nothing in it. Sorry, Mar Sorry, Marcus. Apparently, you're a dick. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what Marcus did, but apparently, he did some shit. People aren't happy with Marcus. Book your ideas up, Marcus. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Thanks for. Thanks for telling the thanks game for telling people the things I told them already. You're good. Great. Let's go into this house. The mystery house melee. Fucking Toad again. It's okay, Toad, Toad is a good character. Welcome to the mystery house. In there fact, I would like to perform an ode to Toad. <laughs> <laughs> so the gimmick of this is that you just basically gotta do a set challenge in each room to get a green star. Yes. Uh, in this specific... Yeah, in this specific mystery house, it is just defeat all the enemies that are in the room, and then you will get the green star. There are some more variations of this later in the game. So I kind of had to, you know, kind of looked over the thread a little bit, and uh, I noticed there's some fucking doubters have appeared in the game, uh, in the thread, saying that this game's maybe don't look so good. And quite honestly, you can just get fucked. Who said that? <laughs> Someone. I don't know who, what their, what their name is on the forum, but like, there's been. Oh yeah. Also, you see, me make a mistake there. I got the star. I was like, okay, I'll get the pa cat power up back now, and then I, and then, the simples. Simples. Easy. Um, I lost the cat power up because I, I thought I could get it after I collected the star, but then the level ends. I wasted the cat power up. You did this. Yeah, so some filthy detractors have appeared <laughs> in the thread. Dex, it's okay to have opinions about video games. No, I was, I was, I was gonna Except say about is... this video game, we'll fucking throw down me. <laughs> All I was gonna say is, uh, his point about the first level looking kind of easy was... Yeah, it's fair. It does look really easy and the game's difficulty doesn't pick up for a while, but it's just introducing 
a load of new ideas to you so that when it actually gets to like the meat of the game like the very final final size doesn't matter, <laughs> that is you, matter where. <laughs> final level you will get to the point where you're like sweating and shaking and like pulling your teeth out because it's so fucking hard i promise you it does get very hard yeah i don't know what the fuck that's meant to be i was just looking at it like what the fuck is that Right here, I was like trying to like tap on the screen to see if stuff happened, but didn't really. So I was like, oh, all right, then. all right. It's like tap on the screen to see if things happen. It's like, um, all right. Oh my god! Please don't do this to me, Dex. I opted to play as Peach because this is like the only character we haven't played as the whole video. So here's so this double is the cherry double cherry. Pass. <laughs> double cherry pass where they in introduced the double cherry. The double cherry. It double cherry is interesting because it was a, a an accident by one of the the uh, level designers where they accidentally had two of the same character that the player could control on screen at once and because the game didn't crash or the frame rate didn't drop they decided to keep the idea and incorporate it as a power up and it creates two of the same character it's also amazing and it, it's kind of hard to control i will say yeah, it that is. about it it's a little bit irritating sometimes it's like okay I want I want this character to get to go this way, please. No, okay. You know a better way they could have done it? Uh, Use the right joystick to control oh, some yeah, of them, and the yeah. left control stick to control others. That would have been kind of cool. I got through the ring, but then I was like, eh, fuck it. I don't even care. That's not, that's not happening. The stamp, however, that's happening. That's in the bag, mate. Yeah. Right, and look, we... another fucking double now cherry. Now we have four peaches. We need. That's too many for me to even eat. We we need all of these. It's kind of a mess. I'm trying to try like organize them all. Like, come on, come on, guys, let's let's do it. Uh, this this hammer bro, this fire brother is fucking he's doomed. You need uh four characters for the end of the level. For one star, that's over there on that gold platform. You need four characters to stand in that one place so that the platform will rise up and you get the star. This is very easy if you have three other friends helping you out, but if you gotta get the double cherry, it's kind of irritating. It's hard to get all four of them to the end without one of them dying. Also, are we ending with the, the original Peach? Is that the first? Is that the real Peach? Because all the other clones, they got killed. I was, I, I was just trying to sit there, like, I was horrified about the fact that if it was the real Peach. Is it the real Peach? I was seriously sitting there doing, like, oh my is god. It, is it the real Peach? Is it, because all the other ones, they got killed, is it the original? What if it's just a clone with the memories of the original? With a, with a robot face. Who knows? Who knows, honestly. I think let's let's just the say that the implications are kind of horrifying. I'm sure we could rewind the video and find out, but this Bowser's bullet bill brigade. We got fired out of a cannon. Towards tanks. Oh my god, it's like the Super Mario Brothers 3 thing, except in the 3D world mm. now. Auto scrolling levels make a return. There's not much to say about this, really. <laughs> Just auto-scrolling it's, levels. It's it's an auto-scrolling level, yeah. It's a uh, second... Bullet Bills. Second Bowser Castle. Oh, wait, hold on. No, wait, what's this? Whoa! It's the cannon power-up. <laughs> cannon power-up's kind of great. It's like a little box you go inside. Also, it doesn't override the current power-up you have, it just gives you a cannon on top of your head, and it's kind of great. It's just like wearing a hat! Yeah. If you think Mario shouldn't be wearing a hat... What's wrong with you? Well, Mario already wears a hat. Right there, I tried to do 360 no-scope, didn't quite work. 
try to do it. I was like, I'm gonna fucking get that bullet, but I missed. I was so right, close. Buddy. So close. Finally achieving the dream. Of doing a sick 360 sick no scope. 360 no scope. So the only problem with the auto scrolling level is that it's very possible to like miss something, like this stamp for instance, and then have ha see it as the level gets closer to the camera and then by that point it's too late. So we need the cannon power up to get the last star to blow up that, like, I don't know, like Bowser wall? Bowser board. Was. Yeah. Bowser board. A board of Bowsers. Hey look, it, it's Boom Boom. He's come back from Super Mario Bros. 3 to show us what's what. Just to prove he's, he's you know, he's he's been he's training on the hard. Level. He's been training hard since Super Mario Bros. 3. He's going to show us... He's going to show us that he's a real deal. But actually, no, he's still really fucking easy. You just gotta jump on his head a bunch. Yeah, you don't. Know, this is kind of difficult when he goes invisible and you're like, oh shit, where the fuck is he? So you don't even really need to wait for him to start spinning around like that. You, you can, you can jump on his head like right away, and that does make it super easy. And then he explodes into coins. Yep. Then we pick him up and get one up, and now we have 79 lives. He's a part of you now, Mario. Take good care of him, Mario. How does the one-up system work? Is it like, when you die, you just go, here's a hundred coins, death? I guess. Like, maybe. Alright, uh, please be quiet. Silence, please. If you didn't know, the music in this game is... <laughs> if you hadn't quite clocked on yet... <laughs> get if the you fuck hadn't... out! <laughs> Just sleep! Pow! Sorry, Alex, but <laughs> next time! Yeah. That's the one that got me. Sorry, Alex, <laughs> better look next time. Uh, better shit. look next time, mate. Oh, God. You can see the next world in the distance as well. Oh, there it is. Right, we can already tell what it is. Yeah, it's like some kind of water level, right? I mean, world free water level makes sense. Okay. Let me see how this guy has to say. I'd say that's ice, Dex. Come on, man. Is it ice? Yeah, it's the ice world. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright, if you say so. Now it's water. Come on, who are you kidding? It's like somewhere between ice and water is really weird. It's not as weird as that 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 one level. Which level? What's that one level? World the one? five. The what? The one level. The one world. The one world. Yes. The one world we'll get to eventually, but not not next video, and not right now, because that's the end of part two. Thanks everyone for watching. We will see you next time. And with that, we abscond from this plane of existence. Bye. Bye.